It's been 5 years since I last made a hardcore Iron Man, and now that group Iron Man is out, there is also a group hardcore version. This is a great opportunity to experience hardcore mode again, but with a twist. It's been a long time since I've felt the danger of playing RuneScape, and this time even mini games like Jad and Inferno are dangerous in the hardcore group mode. I have joined up with two incredibly seasoned hardcore Iron Man players, Mr. Mutz and Mr. Fuse, to create the ultimate bossing trio. We have three lives total and our goal is to conquer all of PVM and get as many unique drops as we can before our lives are all out. It is perfect timing as I just finished the combat achievements and I'm seeking more thrills with my brand new trio hardcore Iron Man team. Joining group. Well, oh, it's oh, me, shit. boys. Damn, uh, three lives. Look at this. Three hearts. Is. Three hearts, dude. All right, cool. What? Oh, are you serious? Yo. Oh, really? Oh, come on, man. That's annoying. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Yay, we're back. We're back at it. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What? I, I, I literally died. No, you didn't. Bro, no way. No, you bro. Did. Oh, bro. shit. Oh. No. Bro, no, happened, not. bro, I died, dude. I got stacked oh by the fucking God. door. No. Bro, no. bro. <laughs> oh, no. Shit. Oh, all right, that's enough for today. I need to get out of here. Okay, I'm happy with today's progress. In uh, five hours, I managed to get back to where I, where I was the last time, so. We had a really rough first day. Me and Fuse were on one hour sleep because I spent all day editing the combat treatment diary. And honestly, I was playing pretty good until the whole animation stall at Torch Trap. So in the future, when there is fighting involved in a quest, because I haven't done them in a while, I'm just going to watch some Slayer music while using the quest helper just to make sure the fights go exactly as intended. And uh, yeah, the other two deaths were pretty rough. Uh, I think Fuse tilted because of my first death, but yeah, we're, we're fine now. We should be good. We had good sleep. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Our new group, no dying. So you might be wondering, what is going to be the first boss we're going to be tackling? It is very likely to be Barrows, just because Barrows will provide us some really good armor, which will help a ton for some more dangerous bosses. Remember, this is a hardcore Iron Man group. We only have three lives. So there's no point, no sensible reason to be rushing into high level content with really, really bad gear because we're here for the long run. We want to make sure we have three lives for some of the hardest content ever. So we really need to make sure that we are properly geared. And I think Barrels is probably the safest thing to hit up first for some really good gear. So our first major goal as a team is to unlock birdhouses. So birdhouses is really, really good because of the different seeds that you can get like tree seeds means super fast farming levels uh, also you get the bird's nest of course for a bruise later on which is a major bossing potion and also you get a lot of hunter xp feathers which are you know quite useful on its own and it's very minimal time to set up once you actually get to it right you just spend like five minutes every uh, hour or so and yeah you get so much rewards and then after that, it's fair rings because fair rings is such a good teleport method. You can connect to just about anywhere in the world, including Zaya, of course. And it doesn't require any law runes and stuff because early game law runes and magic levels will take a while to set up. So fair rings, once you unlock that, it's like 20, 30 plus different teleports, locations, all at once. So it is massive. Have to unlock it. So my start was really straightforward. I did Security Stronghold, which is housed, things like Fight Arena, 
the Trinum Village just to build up my stats and just get some quick access around the western area of RuneScape. And uh, I rush for Artie Cloak just because that's a super good item, of course. Most of y'all probably know about it by now. But yeah, really good teleport to near Artie Infinites. Yes, waterfall done. Finally, we're back to where we were once again for the third time. Okay, now we can uh, work towards more burr houses. So in this first video, there really isn't too much trading and group sharing going on other than just grabbing whatever items that we can get near our area so that we don't have to you know go to the same spots and save time for each other so this is an example a lot of these items are obviously crust related stuff so we just try to get as much as we can for each other and yeah this is how it works definitely use the group storage as much as you can it is very very important that you guys communicate and ask what each person wants and if you are in the area, go and get it. That's it. Do it for your teammates. Oh, I see it. There we go. Oh, nice. Now that I have Grand Tree and all this, the Spirit Tree stuff unlocked and the Monastery and the Chronicle, I can just reset my Runji using the minigame telly to Clan Wars, Ferox, and Clave and save a lot of time. Casket. It was worth it. 20 range was worth it. Hopefully it's good this time. But doodle. Oh no! Wait, this is worth a lot. It could be useful for tanking and all and, and whatnot. I guess I'll keep it. Eh, it's not the worst thing ever, I guess. Alright, okay. This time he is still aggressive. He is not on aggro, so we don't have to do the conversation. And now... I used my head and uh, I have cleared the challenge. Drink water before the fight. Yeah, I'll drink right now just in case. I'm not trying to die of dehydration here. Dude, I'm, I'm out, but I, I got some Arizona though, so I need some of that. Mm. Okay, looks like we have, we have one. Yeah, that's right, mercenary guard. Suck it. Suck it. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about anything else for this quest anymore. So, so we are good. Ah, it feels nice. Feels nice to to be back. Yeah. Oh no no no! Not thieving. God damn it! Accidentally misclicked. Oops. Okay okay okay. All right. Make sure we click this correctly. There we go. Twenty agility. Yes. All right, time to do Grand Tree. Let's go. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God, scary. Let me get back to 4 HP. Okay, good. Aye, aye, aye. The stupid rat, bro. <laughs> Mother freaking rat. I was trying to click on the, on the area, bro. And the rat got in my way, dude. Asshole. Yes, finally, another quest done on this remake account. Nice, nice, good boost. Okay, uh, I think we are getting even closer to unlocking Fossil Island now. But this is a, a pretty big quest for that. So you're going to notice that I have kins with me all the time following, and that's because that is my main money maker. I just raise cats and I trade them to the civilians of West Artie for some death runes, 200 each. 200 death runes, sell it at any mage store, like Varak mage store. You get about 20k if you hop twice. And yeah, that's about 20k every 3-4 to four hours is really, really good at this early stage. You probably don't really need to make uh, money outside of just trading the cats for death runes. Easy way to feed the cat is just using shrimps or anchovies that you buy from Port Serum once like every 30 minutes. Yeah, super easy, highly recommend it. And you can also download the kitten status plug in it'll kind of keep track of when the kitten's gonna grow without you having to physically check it port serum go to the food shop buy yourself some cheese buy yourself some red berries because they're useful for dyes and for quests and buy enough for your teammates and yeah proper communication will save a lot of time because some other people can help you get some other stuff in an area that you haven't been to and you won't have to because they're already there Yo, after training my agility up, wow, it's so noticeable how much uh, faster I'm regenerating my run. 
Honestly, I'm just gonna use the lamp on agility. It's taking forever to get 30 magic, so... Let's just gain some more run regen. Here we go. It's worth it, I would say. So currently, I'm just doing a bunch of quests needed to get to Bone Voyage. So things like Priest and Peril gives a lot of kudos. And I do need 100. There's a bunch of easy ones like Grand Tree, Hazio Cult, that each give 5. So do a bunch of those. They're on the wiki, easy to find. And also, there are quests that will help me to do Dig Site, which is a prerequisite. So the tree... So doing Druidic Ritual and then Jungle Potion will get you to 9 Herbler and you need 1 off of Dig Site. But you can just buy Agreements Ale to boost the 10 to do the part for Dig Site. So that's what I'm doing. Priest in Peril is done. I think we just need to do Dig Site now, which means I should do Jungle Potion. So yeah, I got a few more quests to do and then I can uh, finally start working towards the Fossil Island. No. Oh. Yo, yes, yes. Oh my god. So lucky. I got a black play potty from the other um easy clue. Yeah, yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. Iron Cut Shield, Mythal Pickaxe, they're all bought in um Faldor, so I needed 10 defense, so I quickly bought an adamant maze in Faldor for this clue because it's where I'm supposed to do clue. And the adamant maze and maces in general are not too bad now. They made the attacks be faster, so it's a slightly worse scimitar. So this is good enough, and it's very cheap. All right, here we go. Uh, please, please, something good. Really? Damn. I drink this super fast and do this. All right, I uh, almost messed up there. Yay, dicks I completed. That's like our 20 billionth quest completed, dude. Holy crap, 47 quest points in one day. Oh, okay. Uh, I will uh, get the bird's house going tomorrow because I got to train the crafting. Here we go. It's time to prep for bone voyage. We need 100 kudos. Holy crap, they, they definitely buffed this. In two inventories, I got everything from here that's crazy yo we got it guys over a hundred kudos doing the little quiz downstairs almost forgot about that but yeah we just need to train our crafting now and do bone voyage hey 400 total just doing some afk skilling gathering some resources for the boys uh because i woke up a little early trying to adjust to their schedule so that's a big part one of my teammates is in europe mutts and yeah, I gotta like, you know, wake up in the mornings and stuff, so. So I have to train my crafting to 31 for Lost City and also 25 so I can camp the Willow Bird houses soon. There's a overlooked one where if you do enough of the kudo stuff, you can talk to the lady in the museum and get a bunch of crafting experience. And of course, the traditional quests like Elemental Workshops 1 and 2, Observatory Quests... Murder Mystery, I did those as well for the XP. Alright. Okay, so... Which is closer? Lens End. I should go Lens End instead. Yeah, there you go. Lens End trick to get to the what can I get a bit faster for this stupid quest? Because, man, otherwise... Uh, I'm gonna actually lose so much time running all the way from the other side. Come on, let me finish it. Oh, come on. So close. Finally, oh my god. Terrible, terrible steering. We're here. I accidentally made some willow bird houses, uh, not knowing that I actually needed hunter levels. God, I just don't do bird houses, but. But uh, we are okay. You know, we are okay. We can just do normal. For houses and so we hit 24 uh, or I guess 15 or 14 for oaks so we'll do these first nice okay now that we have bird houses going and all that uh, I think the next thing to do is to build some more infrastructure on the account which means fairy tale oh sweet yo observatory just boosted me straight to 31 nice it's guaranteed crafting uh, so worth worth very important. Ah, there it is. 36 wood cutting. Okay, it's time to do something somewhat dangerous now. We are going to be doing the, the Lost City. Hell yeah. 
Yay, Lost City done. Sweet. Let's go and continue on with the Fairy Rings lifestyle. Secretors, a red vine worm, a fat snail, and some red spider eggs. Woo! It is not a nature uh, nature talisman. Oh my god. Yes? Question mark? Yes. Okay, get me out of here. Oh my god, that fight probably took 10 minutes with one farming or something. But yeah, we got it, boys. Okay, let's see if this works. Yes, it does. We have done it. Fairy rings and logs. Now I don't have to walk around everywhere like a goddamn, uh, I don't know. Goddamn nub. We're only half a nub now, so. Sweet. Okay, that's uh, that's enough questing for a bit. We are now a few steps closer to the eventual bossing grind, and there's still so much questing to do. But I think in the future, I will be covering a bit less on the quest, just quickly paraphrase them, and really cover more on the brainstorming of how the group is doing things, you know, strategizing. I think those are more interesting. You've seen the quest a billion times, so I don't want to bore you guys with that. So we'll try to give you guys a different perspective in terms of the progression of this hardcore account. But yeah, I will see you guys with another video very soon. Make sure to subscribe if you want to keep up to date, because very soon... We will be bossing, so you don't want to miss out, okay? Alright, take care. See you guys soon.